Okay, this is semen retention day 51. Real life succubus. Now, most of you don't know me, but I am not around women besides like family and maybe a little bit of co workers, but or people from my work or from the store. And uh, so it's really rare for me to have contact with females and males that are outside, you know, my family or or somehow related to work or going to the store, right? So I don't have these real life succubus like a lot of people do because I'm not like around, you know, I don't go to the clubs, I don't do none of that stuff. Um, once in a while I go online and chat with women, but it's like pretty rare. So I don't have those experiences. So I never talk about that in my channel or my YouTube channel. But today something happened. And I think it's worth talking about for me because it's something I don't talk about. So I'm day 51. I've been struggling this time around. It's been a real struggle, especially the last, like, two or three weeks. I feel like I've been tested as where before I failed. I've been tested with those same strategies, again, by Earth or the devil or whatever you... Or the succubus, whatever you want to call it. Um, But they haven't worked on me. but, but But I've been tested with, like, you know stuff that really like hit me you know like the the best material they got i've been hit by that well not really but something like that but this time they tried it you know on day 40 instead of day 340 which was weird and now i think they're upping their game to try to stop me and well here's the story i'm going to describe it as best as i can what I think in my mind obviously somebody else could look at it differently but this is how I perceived it and what was going on through my mind so I'm a truck driver and like I have to use the truck stops to take a shower most of the week not the whole week but most of the week so I go in there and shower of course I'm semen retained so I don't like usually do anything um but right as I was I was I was approaching the door to go into the truck truck stop there was this homeless person like on the floor like sitting down and I was like oh look at that dude you know he's got like curly hair or whatever he seemed like a cool homeless person and as I got closer it was a chick it was a it was an attractive chick like a pretty attractive chick like it looked kind of ye- like a young chick like maybe somebody 23 you know homeless or whatever and i was like wow you know i'm gonna check it out you know uh, uh, i'm gonna check out the chick and not get closer or whatever because she was standing by the by the entrance of the truck stop but i'm gonna check her out as i'm going into the truck stop that was my thought And as I got closer, she was looking like straight, like 90 degrees angle from me. She was looking away. And as I got closer, she turned to me. And it was this, she wasn't 23. She was maybe 43 plus. And life had like beat her up pretty hard. She was missing teeth. She was all dirty. Her face was kind of in in a crying mode. And she asked for money for food. And I said no. I think I had like a dollar. But I didn't want to be bothered at that time. A lot of times when people ask for money. Like if I see them more than once. Then I'll try to give them money. But the first time I see them. Like I don't want to give them money ever. Um, So I said no. And I walked in to take a shower. And as I was getting ready to take a shower, like, thoughts went in my brain of, like, giving her money to, like, (laughs) 
you know, give me a little BG or whatever, right? And then other thoughts started, like, entering my mind. And this chick was, like, really nasty, you know, from the streets, dirty, probably hadn't showered in a week. And I was still getting nasty thoughts in my brain or whatever. And I wanted to break semen retention. And, of course, like, I fought through it. I fought through it. And I made it through, you know. I made it through the whole shower with nothing. And, and like, now I'm, like, back to normal. But at a time, it got kind of intense. But I kind of put two and two together. Like, I... This, seem, this time around, my semen retention, it feels like I've been tested a lot harder and a lot faster and a lot sooner. So I put two and two together. I was like, was this a life, a real life succubus, you know? Was it, I even questioned if it was the devil himself or whatever. Of course, it might have just been a homeless chick looking for money, but... I was tempted, you know, I was tempted and wasn't even my type, you know, uh, I'm not even really into like women or whatever at this point in my life. Like I'm not like, I don't, I don't really think about women or whatever. Um, I just think about like family and my career and the things I want to do, you know, I'm focused on that. So for me to think about women was really awkward and I found it highly suspicious and I didn't break because I, was, I found it really suspicious. And I was like, is this what other people go through, you know, that, you know, they have to talk to like women or they have to, I don't know, be around women. Do they go through harder challenges than I do? Anyways, that's all for this video. Uh, if you don't like it, scratch it off your mind. Thank you.